For years now, all of us has been, have been working very hard to pass a bill through the United States Congress guaranteeing that the first responders and survivors of the attacks of 9-11 receive the health care that they need. Uh, these attacks were attacks on America by a foreign enemy. They were acts of war, and they led us to war in Afghanistan. Caring for the men and women who rushed to our defense on that dark day and in the days that followed is nothing less than a national duty. America is too great a country to shirk this duty. We are too strong, too proud, too patriotic, and this is the week that we have to show it. Now, getting anything done in Washington is never easy, but thanks to years of hard work by so many people, and thanks to the strong leadership of Pete King, Carolyn Maloney, Jerry Nadler, and many others, the bill did pass the House earlier this year. Earlier this month, the Senate fell several votes short of the 60 required to end debate and take a vote. At the time, Republicans said they voted against ending debate because they did not believe that any bill should move until a deal on tax cuts had been completed. That deal, as you know, is now done, and the time for excuses is over. Very simply, it's time to end the debate and let the bill be voted on.